going that way. With him. And this guy. Yeah. I think Bentley farted. Hello. Hi. You always make people's day. Everywhere I go, people want to know things nope. about the Q&A. Q&A. <laughs> Q and A. Q and ampersand A. A and Q. A and Q. This is the V and Q. This is the visuals and questions. VQA. The visual question and answer period. VQA sounds like some kind of like winery. It, it, well, that's the Vancouver... Q, no, never mind. All right, so welcome to the visual Q&A period with Peter McKinnon. House Hippo Media, Trevin LePage in the back seat, Ooh. and we got Mr. Bentley the dog, who's, as Peter's friend just said, crushing it on Instagram with 75. He's, he is killing it. This dude has like, he's like 76,000 followers. That means amazing. Links below if you don't follow. Well, I'm going to ask you a question, Peter McKinnon. Start it off, fire away. What took you so long to get out here? I think I did pretty good. I mean, we were in Ireland, what, like three weeks ago? I think the only reason why you weren't faster was weather. And that I think it was like the week after we got back from. It was just rain. Yeah, rain, it's rain, just rain. It's been raining for like for like five years. And now we'll show the visual QA. Yeah. Look set. at this. Yeah. Look at this. Like this is this is real life. This is our backyard. We're uh, we're coming up on Canada's 150th birthday, and uh, this I'm not is even going to be here to celebrate yeah. it. Oh yeah, you're going to be in Africa. I'm going to be in Africa. World exclusive breaking news. Peter McKinnon, what are you doing in Africa? I am going to Africa with uh, World Vision and a friend of mine who's a chef. So we're going to Kenya and Nairobi to kind of document the drought that's been happening there and how it's really been ruining a lot of people's crops and we're gonna go into villages and cook for these kids and kind of just try to bring awareness to the situation and show a lot of the positive positive sides of what's happening there as well not just like the negative stuff and we're just gonna film take photos and cook for people and have a grand old time and celebrate canada day there hopefully here's a question for trevin because he does photography and video he's a beast do you ever use an nd filter when you're uh, taking images you know what pete that's a great question do. I'm glad uh, you asked. Yeah, glad you asked. I do use an ND filter for video, but I try not to use it for photo. It really uh, changes the image. Yeah, I find it's hard sometimes because you've got it on when you're shooting video. Yeah. And then suddenly you want to flip over to a photo and then you've still got it on. So the choice is do you leave it on or do you take it off? So I kind of do a bit of both. So Pete, you get a lot of questions uh, yes. about when you do a Q&A. We put it out on uh, our Twitter, and Instagram and stuff. What would you say your percentage of people wanting to know uh, about you compared to camera questions? What like, what do you think the ratio is? Yeah, that's the thing. I love Q and A's because it's super interesting to like see what people are thinking and, and see what interests them about you and, and what you do and stuff. But I I would probably say with certainty that like 85 percent, if not even like 90 percent of all questions I'm asked with any Q and A have something to do with cameras or a lens or what camera to buy or what lens to buy. Which How does is that fine. make you feel? It's fine. I, I love it because this is what I do, right? So like, I'm sure if you were asked tons of questions about helicopters, you would have no problem talking about it for as long as you were asked about it. Yep. And I'm the same. But it is nice every now and then to get a question about like, hey, favorite brand of jeans. Because you are a person too, right? I am a human being just like you. And you have feelings. <laughs> I have feelings and I like other things besides this. So what is your favorite brand of jeans? Uh, Skinnier, the better. Yeah. The, oh my the, God. As tight as you can. You should make see them. how blue his toes are. Yeah. If, I would just paint, I would just paint on my pants if I could. Because his lower calves are just like no circulation. No circulation whatsoever. That's why I can't work out because I yeah. won't be able to fit into s small tight jeans. Yeah. He's yeah. very svelte. I'd say you have a dancer's body. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I work hard for it. These, like this vista right now looks like something out of Avatar. Favorite movie? Well, let's go right into that then. Okay, favorite movie? I mean, that's hard, especially for someone who's into film and like, you know, that's really, really hard. I'll say one of my favorite movies is Rounders. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Okay, well, I, I love the classics, the, the Dumb and Dumbers. Oh, of course. Um, Big golfs, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, skis, huh? <laughs> they yours? <laughs> Bo both of them? Um, See you later. <laughs> so, uh, I love love Dumb and Dumber. I love I love funny movies. I've always loved funny movies. How how do you not love funny movies? But favorite I really 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 enjoyed Interstellar. Oh, that was really good. As a geek that enjoys that type of stuff being like space and all that. Man, I like that movie. Like that was really cool. 
favorite beer? I'm a Bud guy through and through. I love Budweiser. I'm not. I know people are beer snobs, beer elitists. I'm not. I love a good cold bottle of Bud. Brad, if you're still doing it, can we get a campaign to stop Philip Bloom from his dirty lies? Oh, absolutely. I think that Philip Bloom is spreading lies and rumors. Uh, he's very damaging to the helicopter industry as a whole. Uh, this whole drones are better than helicopters thing, it's, it's crap and uh, he should be stopped. We're going to go check out a really cool waterfall down here. Pete, how do you properly deal with exposure in camera before shooting to make it easier to color, color grade? I'm assuming that's for video, being that it says color grade. I use the screen. I look at live view all the time. I've been doing it this whole flight because it gives you a visual representation of what you're about to shoot. So, uh, and using a histogram so you can see where your highlights are, where your lowlights are, where your shadows are. And if one's too high, you can adjust it. And then like we talked about at the beginning is an ND filter. Combining those things using live view, the histogram and an ND filter should ensure that you get like the most accurate exposure so that when you take it into post, be it that that is Lightroom or Premiere, uh, you're going to have a much easier grading experience. So. Okay, so each of you has 20 seconds to answer this question. What inspired you to start making YouTube videos? What inspired me to start making YouTube videos? Uh, I wanted to create. I love creating stuff. And as a guy named Levi Allen says, life's better when you create things. Yeah, I started because it was a way and a means to start working for myself. The same rule goes for this question. Where do you guys see yourself in five years? Fatter, hairier. Five years, uh, doing something to do with photo and video. I don't know. Which do you love more, photo or video? I'm trying to keep this under 20 seconds. I love them both equally that if I had to pick one over the other, I would rather do neither. Wow, that's a great That's answer. the deepest answer you'll ever get in a, in a VQ, VQA. So here's a question for all three of us. What was your most memorable, memorable moment from your visit to Ireland? Walking around the corner at the Giants Causeway when a lot of the people in our group stopped and being like, whoa, this is what the Giants Causeway is all about. And my other most memorable moment was uh, for sure Kinborn Castle. Seeing that castle was so freaking cool. I really liked the castle as well. All, all the drones flying around. There was so, like there was like nine. There was like nine drones buzzing in the air. It was so loud. It was like noise pollution to the max, but it was amazing. Um, how long did it take you to pick up traction on YouTube? That's an interesting one because I don't even really understand YouTube. Like we've all we've all talked about this. It's like the mystery that will forever remain YouTube. The second you think you've got it figured out, something happens and you're like, oh, never mind. I kind of started picking up traction like right from the get go. I had a video that went viral. It was the eight camera hacks in 90 seconds. I started getting picked up by all these different photo websites. Next thing you know, it was at like 100,000 and then 200,000 and it was just going up and up and up and I just kept seeing it and it was getting tagged on Twitter and I was like, oh, I think it's happening. I was getting more subscribers so I was like, oh, I should make another video. So I started making more and then more and then those were doing well too. And then I've kind of just tried to keep that momentum going ever since. Oh, that's awesome. Please excuse this interruption for some quick photographs. That needs to happen again. Ooh. Hopefully the uh, GoPro picks that up because it's cool when you move that lens. Yeah. Oh, Hallie, tell me you were watching the screen as you were doing that. Yes, sir. Uh. Let's see what this hard over there can roll. We got it. Whew. That was badass. That's yeah. bad to the bone. Boom. Bad to the bone. Mm. Boxers or briefs? Boxer I'm, briefs? I'm a sax guy. I'm a, I'm a, uh, a recently, last two years converted to sax. And uh, changed my life. I like boxer briefs. What's the most exciting thing about landscape photography? <laughs> I think the most exciting thing is cuts to visual right now. V Look at that. This is why you do a VQA. This, this is why it's exciting. Look around, like what? This is what makes exceptional landscapes just so exciting to be in, to capture, to experience the light fall over them at the morning and at sunset and midday. This just, it's, and it's ever changing with the seasons. You could shoot the same place 15 times and you could have every photo look different. So what don't you like about landscape photography? Waiting around for the light, early, early morning and late evening are the best times to shoot landscapes. Sometimes it really, really sucks when you're in like the most epic spot and the light's not right. Is YouTube your full-time gig now or are you still working on other productions on the side? Pete. Oh yeah, hang on, I'm just in the zone. Pete's, Pete's in the zone right now, sorry. Oh, hell yes. 
So this is the best thing ever. Uh, so both of you, you're forced to drink coffee for the rest of your days. Once chosen, you cannot change. What type of coffee will you be doomed to ingest? Forced to ingest James Coffee from my friend in San Diego. I would choose his El Canal from Honduras and I would drink it in a Chemex via a drip method for the rest of my life. Why? Because it tastes like magic. It tastes like it came straight from Hogwarts, which it, I think most definitely did. Magic beans. Huh. Well, I would go with the blend London Fog with almond milk. Extra sweet because that's the kind Seriously of guy I am. Guy. <laughs> yeah, I like almond milk because it doesn't make me all tootie. Learning something new about me in the Q&A, you, you probably didn't know that. Pete, what's the best budget camera for film and photo? Uh, I'd go with the ADD right now. Uh, what is the best advice you could give someone who is about to launch their own film company? My advice? is do it you know you hear a lot of people talk about you know youtube you can do it too and all this stuff no it's really hard like it's actually really 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 difficult uh, but the thing is is doing it you lose nothing by getting into social media and learning how to video and edit and produce and doing all this you have not wasted one second of your time learning um, social media and and all, all the things that go with making videos because it's a translatable skill. If you don't make it as a YouTuber, who cares? Because then you have skills, you can work for a company, you can work for a brand, you can work in some other, and it's directly translatable. You have a portfolio that you can show people. So it doesn't matter if you are successful um, day one and you build a channel and you get a million subscribers because at least you're gaining skills and you can do something that's really fun, really rewarding for the rest of your life. Jeez, that was ace. Tasty but like it, right it, it, it doesn't matter. Like if you don't succeed as a YouTuber, what have you lost? You've learned how to how to um, the algorithm. You've learned you've learned things that other people don't have that skill of, and you can work for a YouTuber, a brand, a company, a whatever, and you can make a living, and you can have a lot of fun. You can do something that's really unique and rewarding because um, it's not getting any less. It's not getting smaller. Video is here to stay. All good advice. As far as like starting a production company and by that i mean I, I, i'm assuming the the person asking this wants to start filming stuff for companies and businesses and, and i would say my best piece of advice for starting that is, is to not get hung up on the gear in order to get going because when you think about production you're like, okay i'm going to need this 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 where you can actually get really really epic and beautiful imagery masterful imagery really if you focus on the tool that is like your, your eye and your storytelling and your ability to even be a good businessman, woman, whatever. Uh, so those are the key things I would focus my time on versus like the checklist of how many lenses you're gonna need and, and what drones are gonna look best. Uh, that's all secondary, anybody can buy a drone. Anybody can buy a drone, anybody can buy a camera, but what people can't buy is the eye, the, the business acumen and connections networking, all the important stuff that usually comes after people have like dumped all their money into what it is that they want to start. So I would say, if you're going to start, that's how I would do it. How do you guys come up with your video ideas? Ask one another, <laughs> ask everybody, drink coffee, run things by, just try some things. Some, some of the videos that I do, I, I, you don't even see them because I end up deleting them because they're silly ideas, but some of them end up being some of my best videos. So I just kind of come up with something and try not to think myself out of it. Man, just like get inspiration from where I am and where I live and what this area is and what we can do here. Uh, that's where I get my inspiration from is the, this neck of the woods. If you had to leave one of us on the mount, which would it be and why? Bentley's coming home no matter what. Um, so uh, I look at a guy like Peter McKinnon and I figure he would last about 45 seconds alone in the woods. Um, Rude. Maybe, maybe less, maybe more, but about 45. So uh, probably I would leave Trevin. Purely because you have so much faith in me. I, I think Trevin might be able to survive, you know? You can make um, it, buddy. But the problem with Trevin is he's bigger, so he needs more calories. Okay, you ready to go land on that thing, uh, Peter? On that? Well, I think I'm not. People have complained before that I've taken people here before, and that bothers me because it's such a cool spot. But the reason I'm coming here is because it's really windy and this is probably the safest spot for us to come. What music do you listen to? Right now, I would be listening to Blur Track 2. Woohoo! Kazer, Pedal to the Metal. That's as I'm like ripping the river. That's like. I feel like this would be good 30 Seconds to Mars music. I'd be listening to 30 Seconds to Mars for sure, or Blink 182. <laughs> I 
I got a question for Trevin in the back seat. So I've crashed, I think I'm still two, right? So you've always kind of given me kind of some grief about that. Uh, what's the Mavic, or what's the drone crash score right now? Two to one. Two to one, okay, so we're even. Rides in the lead. I'm in the lead, but we're starting to even up a bit. Why don't you tell us what happened a couple minutes ago, Trevin? So I was setting up for a nice tracking dolly shot, looking at the horizon, coming over these little uh, this little mountain. We got the river in the center, beautiful the mountains in the background, and uh, I just I went too far too fast, and uh, I had a nice little landing in a tree. And after about half an hour of hunting, half an hour? About an hour. I'd about, say about an hour. About an hour of hunting. <laughs> Bradley helped me track it down, and we retrieved the Mavic, and she's safe and sound with a few little dings. In the damage score, I'm definitely way ahead. Um, I have incapacitated or lost completely two drones. He has slightly damaged, um, almost lost one drone. Peter, we talk a lot about what you love, what you what you want, what you want to do. What do you hate? I hate people telling me what to do. Ooh. Yeah. So don't walk into the tail rotor. That's like you're <laughs> mad at me when I'm saying that. <laughs> no, I just don't like when people tell me how something should be done. Nine to five or school or that kind of thing. Like I just, I was never good at it. Was never wanting to play by the rules. Really just wanted to set my own. Very like anti-establishment. I have yeah. one for myself. How do I balance work time and vlog time? And how, how long do I spend editing during the day? Um, I think we usually spend about 10 hours a day at the office, yeah. and that's usually spent editing if, if I'm there. We put out a video a week, and I focus on that, and try and make sure that's on time, and we're going to do more, hopefully. Peter, who's your favorite YouTuber? Uh, I think Philly D. I'm Yoon, Casey, Hun for Louie, and... Are you um, picking up? All these guys that I have emotional connection with, Destin, people that have helped me out, um, which has been amazing, um, advice and stuff. But somebody that I haven't met that I would love to have a beer with, let's say. Sam Colder is awesome. I'd love to even just take him up and let him help him shoot something someday. Yeah, yeah Sam Sam would absolutely shred up here. Wicked talented. I'd love guy. to bring somebody like that and let them, just you tell me where to fly you and what to do, and you, but you do it, you know? How is it that you can wear a t-shirt all the time, up in the mountains, flying a helicopter with the doors off, Sometimes wearing shorts. How? I am furry. You're a wolf. Are you going to come back? Oh, pff, am I going to come back? When? 100% when? I'm going to come when? back. Give us a date. Yeah, Time. give us a date right now. Now. Commit to it. Uh, October. Done. Done.